Hi, this is Trisha Mai Grind from the Dunning and Ryan Event Team. Here we're going to have a look back at our highlights from 2012. Thank you very much for everyone for following us this year. We had a great successful year, both making the Olympics and everything. I must say a big thank you to our owners, Tom and Carol, Mike McGrath and um, Dermot O'Sullivan who came on board this year. And I must say a big thank you to our staff as well, who we put in a lot of long hours and it was very beneficial. So a uh, big thank you to um, all the staff at home. This is Bally Lynch Adventure here getting tacked up. This is his first run in 12 months um, and it's a great big thank you to um, the Fell family to run this event in Ireland um, at the end of February and to HSI to um, pull out all the stops to get this um, individual slots um, for Ireland for London 2012. Um, we've been working since last September, our last three day event um, and we've been working away getting ready uh, the big issue was dealing with the ground, the preparations and getting ready with the track so early in the year. Um, but we've had great support from uh, Gorsbridge Go for Gold and from HSI and Event in Ireland. So we're in a good position and the weather's been good to us, so we're looking good. As you can see, this horse really enjoying his job again. Um, so it has been a great year. Um, horse made a great comeback. As you, as you will see uh, as the year goes on. Ballon de Nascar, um was, it, this, this event needed to happen to secure the, the slots for Ireland, which, we, um, which you will see as the probe goes on. Um, without Ballon de Nascar, um, we would not have secured our individual slots, so um, this made the Olympics possible for Ireland, um, Team Ireland this year. I was one of the lucky ones to qualify a slot on my veteran horse, Old Road. Uh, as you can see, this is him here, um, coming towards the end of the track and he was a, a great servant to me. From Ballandonis we headed out to Italy uh, with a great team of horses. One of them was Bally Lynch Wizard, who we are looking at here, who completed in the CIC three star. It was a great competition for him and gave him a great confident run. And with Verano, it was the second last three-star event that you could qualify horse and rider combination for the Olympics. So this decision to go here with two horses, Bell Lynch Adventure and Anstown Emperor. And my wife had um, Bell Lynch Wizard and Tolaniski High Ho uh, to qualify both horse and rider as a combination. This was our first time to Italy. Um, we absolutely loved the track. The, the going was very good. The questions on the course were very fair, especially for quite early on in the season. So it would certainly be another event that we would select slot into our calendar. Um, the winner here at this, um, at this three star event was uh, Inger Klimpe, who obviously won team gold in the, in the Olympics. So um, the standard of um, competition here was very good. Um, and obviously Ballinish Adventure got a quite a good place in here at um, this event as well and it set him up for the, for the rest of the year. This is a real nice event, good ground, nice fences, it's well designed, so it's definitely one to, to keep on in your calendar for next year. I think one of the, the lows of the year is uh, the, the loss of badminton in April, um, especially for Mike who was heading there with his veteran horse, Old Road. Um, Old Road had done um, four badminton so far, so this was going to be his fifth one. It was um, quite unlucky, he sustained a, a small injury to one of his legs, which um, was going to put him out for 12 months, and at his age, uh, with the career he's after having, we decided that uh, it was time now to retire, retire him. Um, I must say a big thank you to Ballon Dennis um, for let him, letting us retire him there. He had competed there 18-19 times without a cross-country fault, so it was a great privilege to where he started his eventing career and now to, um, to be let to retire there as well. I must say a big thank you to John Buckler, the owner of Old Road, who has been a great loyal supporter and a friend 
from the start of my eventing career, we've seen a lot of highs and a lot of lows, and he's st he stuck with the horse, and he's been a, he's basically made me to what I am today, um, and I cannot say enough. Old Road is at home now at the moment. He's back in his stable. Um, he's in great form, um, and the other day I was nearly going to start riding him again. <laughs> So, but um, he's turning 19 now, but I must say he's in great form, looks fantastic. Um, he, his injury has, has come right, um, but he's going to be left now where, where he is. He's going to enjoy life now. Here we are in Tata Stalls, uh, CI, CCI 3 Star. This is one of, was one of our final selections for the, for the Olympics as well. Here you can see I'm riding Drum Gurry Blue here. Bellinch Adventure had done his run so far and this is obviously Trish in uh, Tolniski High Ho who's also in the CIC 3 star. I also got on the team, it was the first time I was running in Tata Stalls, Ireland, England and the rest of the world. That's where the three teams were made up of and we were lucky enough to um, win the team competition and Dubarry sponsored that class so we got a lovely new pair of Dubarry boots. There was myself, um, Mark Kyle, Camilla Spears and Eva Clark. And obviously, the four riders ended up going to the Olympics, plus um, Joseph Murphy. I want to thank everyone that was following us on um, YouTube. This um, really kick-started our channel with the, with the followers. It's great to see that people are following us, asking us questions, and we try to answer them to the best of our ability. Hopefully, we can do more of this. For anyone to get to the Olympics, it's 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 a really really hard road, um, especially when you're dealing with horses as well. You've got two live thing, two live animals wanting to get to the Olympics, and it's just it's a it's a really really hard thing to plan. Uh, injuries can happen, and uh, once you sort of get selected, you most sort of you know you sort of wrap everything up in cotton wool and just you know this is your main aim. But it's it's a very exciting time. So I've been lucky enough to go to the Sydney Olympics and the Beijing Olympics. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, there is an awful lot of pressure, but I think having been there before, you try and keep things as tame as possible on the run-up. At the Olympics, great privilege um, to be picked um, on the team this year. I myself was quite unlucky towards the end of the track. As you say, we live and we learn. But I must say, um, my horse gave a great performance up to then. and. Um, I must say a big thank you to HSI and the owners for giving me the opportunity to compete here at the Olympics. Just a few clippets now of Bell Lynch Adventure here coming down to the small pond. Obviously there was nothing too small here, but um, great experience, something I never witnessed before, the crowds of people. My horse responded very, very well to me and I must say all my teammates all came together and they put in a great performance. Uh, how did it all go wrong? Um, as I can remember, I uh, jumped the third last fence. Horse was travelling really well because a lot of people were worried about the, ter the terrain. But I was quite lucky. I have a real blood horse. Uh, he, was, he was very fit. And, and at the end of the day, um, it's down to um, a rider error. I mean, the horse was travelling really well. Came, came down a little slope, and back up to a slope, to a simple double of houses on, I think it was two strides. And when I came up the slope, to see my distance, I couldn't see a distance, and I made um, made a mistake like that. When you when you can't see a distance, you just sit quiet, drop your hands, and support them with plenty of leg. Um, you're taught this as a kid, but obviously with the pressure and a split second decision, I was doing the wrong thing. I held him, took my leg off, and never let go of his head, and never gave the horse a chance to take off uh, from the position I put him into, and we paid the price and we hit the deck. But, as I say, I mean, the horse is fine, he's, got, he's there again to go again next year and I was lucky enough that I had um, four other good teammates behind me and, um, and they done a great job. Yeah, so here is the fin our final event, uh, Bukalo, which is in Holland. Um, this is an event that we nearly always try to go to every year. Uh, it's a real good event, uh, it's a good fun event along with everything else. Um, so here we both both brought one horse each. I'm here with Tolniski High Ho, just getting the last few words from performance manager Ginny Elliott before we head out. And um, Michael also had Bally Lynch Skyport here. 
Uh, Bukalo is a really, really nice course, nice galloping track. Um, it's, it's quite a tricky one, they always put in some tricky fences for the end of the year, but it's, it's, it's also quite a nice track for young horses coming up as well. Tumnisky High Ho had, had a real good run around the cross country here, um, and on the, on the Saturday night there was absolutely dreadful rain, uh, so the show jumping track on the following day was, was not nice, I think it was about three inches of water around the whole thing, but I think we, we completed the course and completed the event and we were both very happy at the end of it. We have a lot of big events again next year in 2013, so stay tuned to Donegan Ryan Eventing and we look forward to talking to you again soon.